All right, we're heading to the beach. We're heading to the beach. Today is Thursday, Thursday. Mon or March. Did you say Thursday? Thursday, March 28th, 2024. Yeah, and Thursday. we've got good news, but I got to take this phone call real quick. Our buddy was on the phone. He was He's trying to buy a new vehicle and he's on the fence, starting off with a Lexus RX, which we completely threw that idea in the garbage. It's and great for soccer moms, not so much at for At the children. very least, we said he could, could possibly consider a Lexus LX or even a Toyota Sequoia, but we uh, pretty much ended the conversation on him experimenting with a BMW X5 or X7. He said he liked the red interior. Uh, and this is after he started off earlier today asking about a Land Rover or a Range Rover, which I told him was a terrible idea. And really and truly, I told him to visit a Porsche dealership, get the Porsche experience. If not, go buy an Audi RS Q8 or a Cadillac Escalade V. He's in real estate and he's a pretty big dude. So I think he needs to take that into consideration with the vehicle that he buys. Mm -hmm. However, he's also trying to reach the section 179 deduction minimum weight, gross vehicle weight requirement for full depreciation. And that is also a consideration as well. You threw out my expedition uh, suggestion because they're just under 6,000 pounds. And the reason why he wants to get a new vehicle is because the one he has is on its last leg. He drove this Yukon into the ground and he can't keep putting it in the shop. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I would want is to buy a brand new Range Rover or Land Rover just to it keep in it in the shop. <laughs> yeah. Now, here we are headed to the beach. It's Thursday, Thursday. and uh, we're going to the beach. We are going to a public beach. We are in Northwest Florida. We are on the Emerald Gulf Coast. And yes, I know there are talks, there are videos, there are other people on YouTube putting out videos about how public beaches are no longer public and they're private. Although if you look at it from the flip side, they're saying, hey, listen, if you come here and buy a house, you have your own private beach. It is not public. You don't have to worry about anybody. Hmm. Now I was just reminded of the good news. And honestly, I guess I'm gonna buck the trend and I'm gonna tell you all the reasons why you should move to Florida. One of them being the integrity of quality jewelers, yes. much like the one that I'm going to share with you guys later in this video and how they do business as a Rolex AD or Rolex authorized dealer. So uh, stay tuned for that one. We've been waiting since August for this. Uh -huh. Late July, early August, I believe. Late July, early August, and they've come through, they've delivered. Earlier than expected. And uh, yeah, so uh, seriously looking forward to that. So stay tuned. Thursday and it doesn't seem like it should be a very busy day but based on how brunch went this morning at crackings uh, anything could happen so it's 73 degrees out it's sunny there is no rain in the forecast it's gonna be hectic we're gonna see if we get lucky if we can find a parking spot here in this public parking area and see how crazy busy packed this beach is on this still early spring break is it early spring break it's somebody's spring break college spring break is over now it's high school spring break but i don't know who's high school spring mid break. mid spring break time frame yes this summer is going to be nuts yes it's going to be nutty you can already tell it's going to be busier than last summer all right already not looking don't so high to the first one pull it to the second one you have a better chance at the second one than the first one because everybody pulls into the first one and then the line just sits there. So when somebody leaves from the second half, nobody can get to it because the line is sitting here in the first half. See, there's like seven cars back there just waiting for a spot. So you pull in here, you have a better chance. Ah, oh, there's still some cars. Never mind. He said screw it, I'm out. Because people just sit here and wait. It's also the downside. All right. Pompano Joe's it is. Pomp Pompano Joe's, here we come. They're waiting on a golf cart to pull out. You gonna pull that truck into the golf cart spot? Okay. It's gonna be tight ski. What's funny is there's a spot open. Nope, that's the crossway. Never mind. Plus they, they wait for the one, but then how many up here are actually open that they're missing out on? None. <laughs> None are open over here. Oh, there's one right there. One spot. Oh, we could have got it. Could have pulled in, back then. Yeah, exactly. Justin she Justin thought this Bieber. was Justin Bieber. I said, no, this sounds like sounds like Lonely Island, Justin Timberlake. And it is. And uh, 
I think I was right. It doesn't tell you who it is though, but. He's selfish. He's selfish. beach situation is only a problem at 30a because to say northwest florida beaches are all private i feel like is inaccurate because this is entirely public mm -hmm. and there's a shitload of people here yeah you can't get in there unless you rent these but half of them aren't being used or rented so it's taking up beach space but it's considered private area because the people who sell the chairs rent that beach space i don't know who you rent the beach from I'm guessing the city, the county, the whatever, but there are a lot of areas where you have to be a paying customer to use that part of the beach. What's the mayor's name? Bobby Wagner. Hey, do y'all know who Bobby Wagner is? He's like, I don't know y'all. I don't know y'all. For a second, I was gonna call him Bobby Wallace, but that's the dark haired chick who drives the Evo or STI. Or, STI. I think she actually just got a F80 M3 now. Or maybe it's an all wheel drive Civic type. Of, I don't, I can't Which keep Which one up. is your boyfriend's? All right, we're gonna have to, I'm not parking backwards again. I'm not parking backwards again. All right, we're gonna see if we can find a spot here. We gotta be swift. This is where you need to make sure that you have parallel parking skills. Otherwise you will miss your opportunity or you'll rip somebody's bumper off. Good Lord. This place yeah. is packed. Yeah. There's get it use your hazards it will let people know behind you that you're trying to park whether they realize it or not that's another story that's another question but it's an old parking trick <laughs> i watched a video on youtube that showed how to parallel park on the first try i'm going to show it to the kids so that she can watch it and understand it because it was it was like precision parking it was perfect oh you mean like what i just did yes but they didn't have to move forward anyway. I didn't have to. I chose to. All right, I'm doing a quick swap so I can go to sunglasses here. Courtesy of Lens Crafters and Costa. Hashtag not sponsored. If you want to sponsor your boy, have your people call my people. <laughs> you, you forgot to mention um, prescription sunglasses. Prescription prescribed yes. sunglasses. Non prescription, non Lens Crafters, Sunglass World. <laughs> What's her name? Gaia. What's up? Bottle of water. We got a lot of people out here today. We got a lot of people out here today. I'm gonna have to break out my, my Samsung, my S23 Ultra to get a better shot because my, my GoPro Hero 11 is not zooming. And uh, I want you guys to really catch the, 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 the volume here. This is pretty thick for a Thursday. Thursday, again, Thursday at Thursday one, a little after one o'clock in the afternoon. This is March, imagine, imagine the summer. But it's just us today, Michelle and I, and beach chairs. No computers, no other tech, and we're just gonna come out here, chill and hang. I'm excited. My sand cloud blanket is a massive turtle. This thing is like, eight by eight i don't know it's huge but i'm super excited to use it for the first time thanks to um this is thanks to whitney who did a buy me a coffee so i could buy a blanket and she actually sent money for you to buy a sound sand cloud blanket also but we should fit it's just the two of us here today no kid oh yeah I can't believe these kids are listening to Aubrey. So, <laughs> this is public. Yes, this is public. There's a bar there. I didn't. I never knew there was a bar there. So it's not open um, during 
before the tourists show up, they don't open that bar. You have to go all the way down to that bar thing down there. But there is no public restroom. Well, not right here. No, the public restroom is called the Gulf. Uh -huh. Don't call it the ocean, call it the Gulf. All right, we don't want to set up camp in somebody's uh, play area, play space. So you got right down in there, you got over there. You have something a little closer over there, but it must be open for a reason. Smokers or something. Yo, this is wild. Like, you guys remember some of the morning walks that we would have on the same beach no where idea. the family stayed back behind us last year for memorial day or labor day yeah this is wild i'm heading for that little spot but i'm pretty sure i got videos from before where i told you that in no time it would look like this yeah. and everybody's here folks but again it's not a private beach so not all northwest florida beaches are private so we're setting up here we're setting up right here i don't know where this is i don't have any coordinates but this is where we're choosing to sit up we don't have any umbrellas or anything like that we are completely unprepared I'm about to use my sand cloud non sand holding blanket look how big this is <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Online from sandcloud.com. Straight from their website. Straight from their website. It was on Facebook. And the thing with this is it's supposed to not hold any sand. That's the whole point behind it is sand will not stick to it. When you pick it up, it's good to go. And it's larger than any towel you've got. And because of the tassels on it, it's supposed to hold it down better. Seems to be holding down pretty well, if you ask me. But yeah. be safe. It is pretty windy right now, so that's that's pretty good. This is a good size. You and I could both sit on this. You could throw a chair on it if you want, or put the chairs behind it. Use this to kind of lay down and chill. But look at the pretty turtle. I got it because of the turtle. <laughs> and it's reversible, so the flip side is pink, and then the turtle's like, whatever. Yeah, so one of the concerns that I actually read in an article that Michelle sent me was from the local businesses in Walton County concerned about these private beaches drying up their tourism. Yeah, hopefully these are non-sand holding shorts as well. They're Eddie Bowers from, from Sam's Club. Hopefully they don't hold sand. I bet those shorts cost more than your bathing suit. The shorts are $12.99. The bathing suit's from Target though, so the bathing suit was 30. Yeah, but you got a bathing suit from Costco, from Sam's Club for like 15 bucks. Oh, from Costco. $14.99 for Hurley and $9.99 for Jessica Simpson. Bathing suit try on hauls on Patreon. <sighs> yeah, so Michelle, she sent me an article and it was talking about these businesses concerned about their ability to, you know, stay in business. And this is, this is going beyond the situation that South Florida Miami was experiencing this year with the crackdown on spring breakers. Now what I am currently experiencing is a slower than normal connectivity to service because there's so many people here hogging up all the, the data, hogging up all the, all the 5G. All the 5G and uh, Never mind. I'm on Wi-Fi for some reason. Oh, I think it's trying to connect me to the condo. At least they put 5G in. Remember that that's what they were doing the last the last year. They were going through adding 5G because for the longest it was only 4G. Now there are areas where you can get 5G in the uh, higher trafficked and the more expensive condo areas. Never mind. Sorry, I was connected to the condo behind me because I was on their Wi-Fi before, and it was trying to connect me. So never mind. The service is good. <laughs> <laughs> now this is me hoping I don't get hit in the back of the head with a football from everybody playing behind us. That would hurt. I'm also tempted to try out this bar behind us. I'm not driving anywhere. <laughs> but I got this article here and it says that the business owners speaking out on Walton County Beach controversy. And this was just March 22nd, Walton County, Florida. The long court battles and debates over Walton County's beaches have been making headlines across the country. 
multiple videos have gone viral and many locals visitors and now business owners are speaking out in a move that could be seen as risky for business owner and chef of blue mountain bakery and swiftly catered kyle swift told channel news channel 7 he felt the need to speak publicly and address his feelings on the situation swift said not only as a business owner but as an area native who was born and raised in the panhandle he has enjoyed the access to the beaches his entire life since 1984 and that he is disappointed and upset those same beaches are now heavily marked with private beach signs he said everyone locals and residents alike should have full access to the beaches especially because it is what so many people come to the panhandle to see and what i see so many people doing in the panhandle is avoiding and ignoring stop signs so i don't think that signs really matter so even if it says private beach walk on it who cares who's gonna stop you it's like jeff foxworthy Here's your sign. <laughs> so, quote, we need tourism, Swift said. There are not enough locals here to support this many businesses, and our resort pricing model is based on the resort having a free and open beach. So now you're going to change that, and we're going to see it. We're going to see a loss of income. Swift said he's fully expecting his businesses to feel the impacts of the customary use outcomes and he said he will not be silent on the issues until changes are made quote we're going to lose money no matter what whether we take a stand or not he said so it's just sad to see and more and more people will be outspoken about it there's a reason it's going viral well as i've told you guys before business is changing business is evolving this is the new season folks and unfortunately a lot of these these smaller businesses, these brick and mortar companies, they are going to feel this pain and they are possibly going to lose money, go out of business, and it's going to only the strong will survive. And by strong, I mean those with deep pockets and long and um, substantial lines of credit willing to wait this out and choke out the little guy. Kind of like what Michelle was talking about with Dollar Tree swallowing up family dollar. Eventually there will be no more and it'll only be one and the only one that survives is the one that will then take the prices even higher. Swift said that many area residents and visitors are on the same page of wanting things to go back to how they were just half a decade ago with private beach signs being a rare sight along the 26 miles of sugary sand and he said that he believes something needs to be done about it as soon as possible before the area suffers. Quote, why? He asks. Why wait until it's a long-term financial impact? You know, I think we're going to have a bad season. I think we're going to get to summer and by fall, and again, fall break should be fine. There's enough beach for the off season, but for those peak months that float the boat down here and make all these businesses whole, most of those people are going to be frustrated. And when they go to book next January or February, they won't be looking at 30A until they hear there have been some changes. It's the one reason they're here. They can't get to it. When do they stop coming? Well, honestly, I don't think that they're going to stop coming. I think they're going to keep showing up because very few people are actually doing their homework and due diligence and research to really understand what they're getting themselves into. And for some, 30A is a dream. So even if they couldn't make it this year or next year or the year after and it's on a decline, they'll still show up whenever they can. But what I'm seeing happening, the development, the growth, the expansion, the rise in prices in 30A or on 30A, I don't think you guys have anything to worry about. Only people who won't show up are the people who can't afford it because 30A is not for the broke. The broke and the poor on spring break or summer vacation on a budget not happening and swift added that he will be hosting a community event on april 14 at the bakery for residents to come out and express their feelings on the state of the beaches and he said he's working to get a county representative and a walton county sheriff's office representative both out to the event so they can speak with residents and clear up any confusion the, there's no confusion i mean honestly it's, it's pretty clear easy to understand if you want to make it in this world in this game and survive you're going to need to, yeah, what, what she's doing. You're going to need to pay up. You're going to have to pay to play. And that means that your business needs to charge more for the fewer patrons and fewer visitors and theoretically reduced volume of tourism and traffic during these peak seasons. And anyone who balks at the idea of a private beach, well, they're not the clientele that this area really wants, in my opinion. It's like the tumbleweed of the beach. Be that as it may, 
Others are talking about the controversy surrounding public and private beaches on 30A in Northwest Florida, impacting tourists and homeowners. Public beach access restricted due to private ownership concerns. And Michelle, she was actually saying, she's like, you know what? This may entice people to come by and invest in real estate in Florida in these areas, Northwest Florida, 30A, Destin, Emerald Gulf Coast, because they'll get their own private beaches. Accessing public beaches in Northwest Florida due to private ownership and lack of transportation options. Yeah, these golf carts are everywhere, folks. If you don't have one, you better get one. Confusing restrictions placed on public beach access by private owners in Northwest Florida. And even if you're a private owner and you want to put out a sign, you can just put out a sign. Who's going to argue with you? Challenges of accessing public beaches in Northwest Florida state parks and neighborhoods. One of the reasons why we ended up getting, for a second consecutive year, an annual pass to the national parks so that we can enter into the gulf island national seashore without any any issues controversy over privatization of public beaches by corporate investors causing exclusivity and greed uh profit over people right isn't that how it goes, exactly how it goes. impact of out-of-town investors so on local beaches causing overcrowding and limited access that's called gentrification. Discussion on beachfront property ownership and real estate opportunities in Northwest Florida. Unique features of a public beach in Northwest Florida. And the list goes on and on, folks. But be that as it may, we are still out here enjoying this beautiful day. I'm glad that you guys are here with us. And we're going to get some sun. We're going to chill. We're going to hang out. And uh, stay tuned because we got something pretty cool to show you. You have something to add? Michelle wanted you to see her book. Full review? Full review. I mean, I haven't done anything, but just wiping the sand off this thing is so much easier than a towel. Like, it immediately went away. Immediately impressed. Just so we're all fully aware. Michelle said, look at these other, these other casual beach goers using their traditional blankets trying to... No, towels. Oh, towels. Traditional towels. With all the sand on them that they can't shake free. That essentially, as they try to, just ends up getting in people's faces and their drinks. And then they take and their it. And the teeth, their, you get the little gritty. Yeah, and then they take it in their car, and then it's all in their car later on. Now, the uh, sandless t uh, blankets and towels I saw before, they were like w waffle weave or something. Uh -huh. uh, what makes this one different? I don't know, but it definitely is not the same weave as a regular towel, and the, the texture, the material itself is different. Like, you haven't touched this, but touch this, and you can tell that it's not the same as a towel. I don't even know how to explain how they did it, but it definitely doesn't, like, look, I'll show you. See? I put sand on it, and then, if I could angle it correctly, it just literally goes away. There's nothing left here. It's completely gone. <laughs>
What are you doing? Using my book to cover the sun from my face. Defeating the purpose of the sun. <laughs> but I really want to read my book. So we're sitting here on the beach and Michelle's asking this question about whose spring break are we in the middle of as far as the age of people who are hanging out here at the beach. And she's wondering if it's college or if it's high school. It's so hard to tell the age of people now, all those hormones in the milk, but I can't tell. Like I'm looking at the girls and I'm like, maybe high school, maybe college. They're definitely not over 21, but none of these girls look like they should be 16 or 17. I have no clue what's happening here. But then it made me think about maybe one of the worst possible reasons or not reasons, but one of the most worst possible drawbacks to being homeschooled is you don't get spring break. Technically, being homeschooled, you can go on vacation anytime you want and just take your work with you. So you may not get spring break in the sense of when everybody else gets it, but you could be on the beach as often as you want to, as long as you've got your work with you. And the most memorable moments I have of spring break is hanging out with friends uh, that I don't have because I don't have these friends in class because I'm homeschooled. I hear you. Now, I do think that a lot of homeschool um, people, they still have extracurricular activities. Um, a lot of them are like Bible study and stuff like that from what I've heard or read But then there's still there's still group Exercises or groups like you, you go join the soccer team the softball team the recreational city whatever's so you still get to have that sort of Camaraderie with people, but it's not school related most of the time I don't think. Socialization basically, but then you'd have to hope that they choose to go on a break with you and or are able to quite possibly because homeschool is a part of their lifestyle, which limits them from the ability to travel and vacation, which is something we talked about last summer of folks who manage farms. They can't just stop managing farms. Yeah. So maybe if you're part of a, a traveling athletic association or team of some sort, and there is a spring break trip, maybe that automatically puts you into that category of that group of that camaraderie and you know just fun outside of school setting but it's like if you are a homeschooler if you do all of your studies and classwork online then times like these you actually miss out on but do you really because are you really missing out on something that you don't know you're missing out on? True. But then also think about it from a different perspective. For those who go to regular public schools that can't afford to go on spring break, they're missing out as well. And it has nothing to do with camaraderie or not. Valid point. All right, guys, we're out of here. We've exhausted our beach time for today. It's about 2.35, a little after 2.35. We're going to find a bathroom or restroom. And we're going to pack all this stuff, but we're going to find a restroom. We're going to head out. And then we're off to that surprise I was telling you about. So stay tuned. This one's super excited about it. And uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to see it. But more importantly, I can't wait to show you guys. So stay tuned. Yeah, we don't have to worry about shaking sand off of our blankets. So thanks, guys. But, drawback. Hey, drawback. Drawback? Drawback is you're not drying off with that. No, you're not drying off with this. It's the golf cart brigade. Rolling in deep. This golf one. carts galore. Yeah. I'm gonna walk out of my shoe. sunburned and then drying out.
off and spray stuff and clean it. Keep it looking crispy. Here we are, finally. Oh, they're pushing a the button. Yeah, they did. I need you. Oh. Uh, at our right. favorite Northwest Florida jeweler. Yes. Second favorite. Our first favorite was Reed's. Now this is our. Now, well, this is my favorite. How about yeah. that? Reed's is yours. That's where you got your stuff. So uh, here we go. We're gonna head inside. I don't know if we can record or not. So this is where we leave you. But it's about time. And for more, make sure you check out this video right here. I'll put a video right there. See you guys later.